Hi, this is just going to be a quick video on how to fix your Xbox if it's missing the boot animation. As you can see here when I turn it on, it's just got a black screen. It does eventually get to the dashboard but it's missing the Xbox logo. It usually happens after an update or if you're just changing the hard drive. So to fix that, first you're going to want to connect your hard drive to your PC, then go to the link in the description. On the top right just click download and then click download anyway. Okay, to extract these files I'm using WinRAR. So you just give that a few seconds to download. Alright, once it's downloaded then just double click. Then you're going to want to extract it to your desktop. Or somewhere where you can find it. I'm just putting mine on the desktop, it's just easier. And then click yes. So, once they're downloaded then they're on the desktop. You want to go to the right folder that you have one folder is for the xbox one and one s that's what i'll be using and the other folder is for the one x so inside that folder there's going to be a boot animation so you right click and copy that then you're going to want to go to the system update x folder on your hard drive and there'll be an a and a b folder first you're going to want to go into the a folder right click and paste then you're going to want to go into the b folder and right click and paste Then after that, on the bottom left, you want to click on the Windows logo and then go to Settings. Then you want to go to Devices. And inside Devices, then you're going to want to find your hard drive. Then right click and just remove the device. That's the safest way to remove the hard drive. Sometimes the hard drive does corrupt when you're doing this. Then you're going to want to just put it back in your Xbox and the Xbox logo should be back then. So yeah, that's it for this video. If this video helped you out, please do hit the thumbs up. And if you like this type of content, you can subscribe. In the next video, I've brought uh, an Xbox One and I paid a tenner for it. It's faulty, I don't know what's wrong with it. So I'm gonna be looking at that. And then I have also have an Xbox One S that has a no display issue. So I'm going to be looking at that also. So. If you like this type of content, please do subscribe, like I said, hit the thumbs up if it helps you. So yeah, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching.